okay friends uh, in this video we'll be talking about uh, the illumina sequencing illumina sequencing is one of the most uh, wanted and one of the most uh, famous next generation sequencing applications that people is now using nowadays for getting better results and we can actually get results uh, in very cheaper way that means normally uh, if you look for those sanger method of sequencing or maxim gilbert method of dna sequencing uh, it kind of takes a uh, thousand usd per million basis to synthesize I mean the per million basis to sequence but for illumina sequencing that cost coming down from 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 you can see from thousand usd per million base and it is coming down to 0 0.05 to 0 0.15 USD so it's a hugely uh, I mean cost effective and that's why people are relying on Illumina sequencing and it is also 98% accurate so accuracy level is kind of good uh, to rely on though uh, the Sanger sequencing is much more accurate the level is 99.9% .9 but still if uh, provided the fact of Illumina sequencing 98% uh, accuracy it is a good choice for uh, us to opt for so let's begin with it so let's start with uh, the process of illumina sequencing because uh, so let's talk about it so this sequencing method is actually also termed as a bridge the bridge method or bridge amplification method because you know in any kind of dna sequencing what we need to do is that we are provided with an unknown dna we, we don't know the sequence of the DNA we need to derive that sequence that's the job but the thing is uh, the sequence that we get is very less so we need to amplify that sequence so that we get a huge amount of DNA sequence to be studied so once we get that number of DNA sequence in our hand then we run the uh, process of sequencing and then finally we get our result so for for Illumina sequencing the amplification part is brought by this bridge amplification process it's not a type typical PCR but it's a kind of bridge amplification process though it requires certain primers so let's begin with it so this is the first part that is the preparation of the genomic DNA sample so this is the DNA that uh, this is the section of those DNA element that we need to sequence so let's say we have a huge a long large DNA so what we do we use the shotgun method of uh, sharing that DNA into smaller fragments so once we get those smaller fragments in our hand then what we do we add some adapters adapters like this so we made this adapters in uh, the lab laboratory as well as we make the complementary of these adapters and we put them into small wells of slides because that will be required in future so we make this adapter uh, alongside we make some oligos uh, which are uh, complementary with the adapter so once the adapters are prepared it's a double stranded adapter which will be added uh, to both the terminal of the fragmented DNA to be sequenced once it is added uh, so this is the first stage it's added after that the second stage is the attachment of the dna to the surface of our uh, oligo containing slides so this is the oligo containing slide with adapters we have already talked before right that the adapters are also present in the slide so then we put all of those uh, processed dna to the place and we denature that dna because that's important we denature those dna and then add those dna so that the dna can actually bind with uh, the adapter and the oligo that is present onto the surface of the slide so once it is attached what we get we get at a structure like that so after that it starts the formation of bridge and this process is called as bridge amplification because as you can see here pretty closely that this DNA start to bend for example this DNA is attached with this particular adapter that is placed here and now this adapter on the other hand the other terminal will start to bend over once it is start to bend over it is going to anneal with the another adapter that is placed there because there are two types of adapters there right here are purple and pink pink will pair with pink purple will pair with purple so here we can see the purple adapter start to attach with the oligo that is present in the slide so once it is attached to the oligo then this oligo serves as the primer and it can start synthesizing the rest of the dna by adding some dntp so these are the dntps we add and it will be start adding so that the single strand will be duplicated so here we go the strand is now duplicated so once the stand is duplicated it's completely done so what we can see here is that the DNA is now bent 
it's forming an arch like structure and it is attached in both the terminal right so it's a bent loop that has start to form during this process and that that looks like bridge that's why we call it a bridge amplification because we have one strand and we are amplifying the strand using the process of bending it over which are called the bridge amplification process so once it is done what we can do we do these things often and again and again so after this process is done uh, they are again uh, these structures are now dissociated so both the strands are now dissociated from one another so once it is dissociated from one another what happens it is rigid it is attached to one particular pole and it is free in the other pole for example in this right hand side it is attached to the purple pole free in the pink pole and we get this on the other hand the left hand one is attached to the pink pole and now opened at the at the purple pole so what it does actually we it, it forms a structure like that so after the formation of bridge the dissociation of the strands occur and they kind of release from each other so now we get linear structures like that so once we have the structure like that so in this way we, are, we can prepare uh, thousands and, and millions of copies of our gene of interest that that we need to sequence so we can sequence it in, in clusters in different regions of the slide and actually we can cluster these sequences simultaneously and it's a huge advantage for this Illumina sequencing because we can sequence a huge number of genes all together because we can amplify huge numbers of genes all together as clusters and then we can simply amplify them I mean sequence them so once we have all this sequence then the next stage is addition of materials because this up to this way up to the part that we've talked till now are the process of amplification once we have the amplified portion of our DNA now the next stage is the actual stage of sequencing so for the sequencing what we need to add we need to add certain uh, certain nucleotides uh, which are fluorescently tagged in this case because it can also be radio labeled uh, but most of the time it is fluorescently tagged uh, so it, they are fluorescently tagged nucleotides that are added and they are a laser machine which can actually scan for the different clusters to find out which are the new nucleotide which are incorporating and that's how we can actually sequence it because it's pretty easy right now so you can see here then we add those primers out there and we can add all those different color coded fluorescent dye coded nucleotides one after another so once we add all those together we what we can find here the G is for yellow T for green C for blue and A for red and all these four different types of fluorescent tag can actually is going to tell us the position of these nucleotides and how they are added one after another so so we start adding them and it start uh, polymerizing with one another and during this polymerization laser scans for the addition of a new nucleotide and it, it depicts the color of the fluorescence of the nucleotide and it gets it so in that way it is going to give us the idea of what are the nucleotide sequences that are continuously added after one another and then finally we can get the structure completed so here you can see here once we get the structure of all those segments of the DNA then what we do we need to we need to arrange those structures we need to arrange those structure to find out the overlapping regions so as you can see here the final part is the alignment of the data because remember we started with a large DNA sequence because Illumina sequencing is for the large DNA sequence like human genome which is containing billions of bases uh, it is not for the 200 400 base base sequence because we can easily sequence them using Sanger method so we go for Illumina sequencing because we need to sequence a huge amount of data at a time and we need to invest less so both the side Illumina is cost effective as well as it, it can do this very fast but still for the genome sequence to occur properly it can take kind of 7 to 14 days I mean 1 to 2 week is required for the sequencing method to completely give us a result so alignment of the data takes place there so alignment uh, is done here so as you can see here uh, so G A A G so that means 50% uh, in surety that the play position is for A or for G but in the in this place we have three T's and one four T's and one G so that means definitely it is going to be this position is going to be a T so in this way we can actually scan for overlapping regions and we can uh, actually find out 
what what this dna is made up with what are the bases that is preparing the unknown dna and that's how we can sequence the dna using illumina sequencing this is a promising technology with very nominal cost not nominal but but the set of cost is very high and the, most of the processes that is addition of the nucleotides and scanning all these things are kind of uh, using of robotics there so so that's another thing for the set of cost and robotic systems so it we need a better quality system for for this kind of process to go on but this is a hugely cost effective and the future of sequencing so that's kind of it guys and i hope uh, that that's helpful for you if you like the video please subscribe uh, the button is here as well as you can subscribe in uh, in the description and also the button is here so please subscribe and make a comment or like the video if you like it so thank you very much all the best